lane fast, call it high speed I've been working hard, yeah, I've been working nightly If you think you'll win, ha, not fucking likely I be taking shots, yeah, cold-blooded, icy Watching numbers grow is what I call sightseeing In the front row, run it up when they hype me The following grows, they know how to ignite me Call me CEO, I've been running shit right, see it looks like Crystal's in the middle of another one of her manic episodes after a follower didn't give her the feedback she was looking for. A TikTok follower named Glenn Schaefer's 14 commented on one of Crystal's videos saying, are you that star for attention? And Crystal did not handle it well. And you know, Crystal, she could not possibly take her advice and just keep scrolling. She has to address every single bit of drama in hopes to get that algorithm up. And while Crystal swears that everyone knows how TikTok works with algorithms because she has multiple accounts herself, what she doesn't realise is not everyone is as feeble-minded as her thinking that algorithm is a be-all and end-all to life. But let's face it, most adults spend just a few minutes scrolling through TikTok and leave a comment here and there if they feel fit. They don't really care to find out how algorithms work. And I highly doubt our mate Glenn here has ever Googled how to get on people's For You pages like we know Crystal has many times before. But this whole TikTok she made was a laughable joke and pretty lame attempt to market herself. First of all, what is she wearing? I don't know if you guys have ever seen like in the movies, they have, you know, the brothels, like the older woman that's there that keeps all the young girls in line. I'm pretty sure she's called a madame. But she tries her best to keep up with all the younger, more attractive women, but she kind of falls flat. And this is what that outfit reminds me of. They're always wearing some kind of animal print tights or like, you know, the clear plastic kitten heels with the fake colour feathers. Kind of like the ones that you get out of a six-year-old Barbie's dress-up pack. Secondly, she's supposed to be answering back to Glenn's question, but for some reason has to have a full body frame for the video. If I had to guess, she's realised that men don't really care for her drama on her OnlyFans page, and we all know Crystal couldn't possibly read that comment without addressing it. So she's compromised. She still posts the drama, but put her body in the frame, hoping it would keep the men engaged enough, and of course in hopes that she would get some validation in the comments and everyone would come for Glenn. For someone who claims to be extremely non-confrontational, she sure does pop off a lot of followers. And I would say maybe she's a non-confrontational in real life because generally she does wait until she gets home before she blasts anybody on social media in hopes her followers will do it for her. But who remembers when she was living with a friend and she bit said friend during an altercation? Something tells me that maybe Crystal isn't as non-confrontational as she claims to be, but just says this to her followers in hopes that they'll do her dirty work for her. Anyways, let's watch the whole TikTok so you can see it for yourself. Comments like these. You know why? Why am I on your For You page, Glenn, huh? I have multiple TikToks and I know that what you see is what you're engaging with. And if you genuinely were so sick of these starved for attention women, you would just scroll past. But you comment and you know why you comment? So when your wife or your insecure significant other says, why is that girl on your For You page? You can say, oh, I commented and told her she was starved for attention. Because you want to keep seeing it. That's why you keep engaging. Has to be, right? Because you can't be that dumb. Okay. So for starters, what is she doing with her hand and why is she putting on that bimbo voice? It's not sexy. It's just desperate and it's annoying. She goes on to ask Glenn, why is he on her For You page and that she has multiple TikToks and what you see is what you're engaging with. And if he was so sick of these attention-starved women, he would just scroll past. Now, for starters, how many men genuinely know how TikTok algorithm works? I know my man wouldn't have a clue. He would just like and comment when he sees fit. Doesn't really care how an algorithm works. But it's very presumptuous of Crystal to believe that this man thinks all of these women are attention-hungry. I mean, I have a lot of people that come up on my For You page that make candles because I like the candle videos. Some, though, make amazing, absolutely stunning candles and others just look plain and crusty. I'm assuming that's how Glenn feels. But it was the part that came next that made me giggle because she definitely either put a lot of thought into this story or maybe... Just maybe it's a true story about Master Christian and she's just deflecting. Crystal says, but you comment and you know why? So when your wife or your insecure significant other says, what's that girl doing on your For You page? You can say, oh, I commented and told her she was star for attention. So that's what Christian does. Hey, Crystal. Here we were thinking she had Googled how the algorithm works out of desperation for more followers when in actual fact, it was more likely she was trying to work out what Christian was up to. Crystal, just because your husband is a cheating dirtbag, allegedly, doesn't mean every man thinks the same way. This is why you don't marry a man you just put in jail four days ago for assaulting you while you were holding your infant. 
Ironically, she ended the TikTok with, because you can't be that dumb. But yes, Glenn, I'm sure her response already confirmed this for you, but the answer to your question is yes. She is star for attention. And that's all I have for this video. You guys can catch me on Instagram at TWT 4.5 or if you can handle it, TWT 5.0.